Hey up! Today's video is a long video. It's on my thought process of going through my burner for my furnace um, and dis discovering why I can't get the furnace hot enough. And I found out that this is too long. It doesn't give the expansion and let it flame. The flame is burning inside here. Hard to control. I also go through this regulator. It's a piece of crap that came with it. I bought a slightly better one, but it's still a piece of crap. I ended up going with this one. It was $49 and another $15 for the fitting in that. And I ended up burning, um, building a frosty tea and it it works really well um so it's just a video of my thought process trying to troubleshoot why i can't get my foundry hot enough uh the noises that it's making and then me moving over to a frosty tea building the frosty tea testing it with forced air without forced air um just my process of thought uh so if you don't like it it's too long i'm not gonna blame you for hopping out anyway thank you for being a viewer uh if you like it give a thumbs up and all that stuff but hey i hope you enjoy it okay so the problem is i tried to melt copper with this setup and i can't so i bought this thing on ebay i think it was 34 dollars so i opened up the box and it comes with a uh, 12 foot hose regulator, a fitting to take it down to uh, eighth inch and some uh, tape. So I'm gonna fire up this in a vise, see how big the flame is, and then fire up this one. Uh, I think this is made in China. That one's definitely made in China. Maybe this is a better quality, uh, anyway. And then I also bought this one here, and I'm gonna try this regulator out too, but I need some more fittings to make this work. So, I'll set up this experiment and we'll see how it goes. And that's what I mean about the regulator. Something's not quite right. So I'm gonna turn this off. Okay. That's what I get with this thing. Inconsistency. Oh, the flame looks bigger, so I'm going to try this. Ah. Wow, that certainly increased the temperature in the garage. Anyway, I think that showed that that burner, new regulator, 
that new regulator worked way better. Um, now that tank doesn't have much in it, has about four pounds left, uh, which isn't a lot. But as you can see, I did get a bigger flame. It was way, way noisier, but I still don't like this burn. Wow, May 14th, and it's a hot one already. I just mowed the lawn. Uh, still using this cobalt. Uh, I've had it now, I think, year two. Had a problem last year with batteries, but I was able to recover them. I thought I was going to have to replace them, but I was able to charge them and then keep charging them as they shook loose. Does an okay job at the yard. Uh, and I still battling weeds, but I'm kind of happy. Anyway, so follow up from the burner uh, on beer two of uh, today's beer after mowing the lawn. Okay, so I want to do a frosty tea. So I printed out some instructions, but they weren't really clear. It said to use six inch, and I don't think that's long enough. So I'm going to make one with that one too. And then I also got this to see if this is bigger. This is a size pipe that will fit into here on the foundry. So it is slightly bigger so I can weld it on the end. And this one will slide in like this. And that will give it kind of a expansion. So that may work quite well. Anyway, I went and bought a couple of these tips. Some plugs. I uh, still can't find all the fittings. So I'm going to put this out here so my hose can attach to it. I'm going to drive this in through here. And then braise it. And then that will... S I'll drill it, tap it for this so that will sit in there. And that will go in there and sit about halfway. And I can adjust it in and out if I want to. So... I'm going to build that up, I'll take some camera shots as I build it and then we'll fire it up and see if this is any better than this burner. And I went and got some more gas, uh, I went to a local place that fills it up and I got a hose, OCNL, they charged me $18.80 to fill the tank and they put 4.7 gallons and I weighed it and it was 30 uh, 35 and a half pounds which is way more than you get at 7-eleven or those other places and they're charging 25 bucks now for half the tank that I got for 18. So support local everyone. And this is OLG propane. So I'm gonna do a burn later on. I wanna do some copper. I'm gonna see if I can make a copper hammer. And oh yeah, I've been buying scrap copper. I've got about 35 pounds. I've got some bronze, some brass. And I want to see if I can make myself a copper hammer. Um, and then later on, I want to do some casting. Like do a frog or something for the yard. But I think that patina would look just look really cool uh, on some yard art. Anyway, on with the project. Uh, back in a bit. So I've got this hooked up to here. Not bad. I'm pushing. Oh, not too much. Ten pounds. Oh, nice. Nice. I like it. 
<coughs> Let's see the heat. Uh, the end, wow, that's pretty hot. Wow, that was cool. So, I'm going to have to get a proper fitting for there. That'll push it in. I've got a slight angle, so I may draw that hole again. But this is way better than the burner that came with it. So, uh, I'll carry on. So I have the outlet. I think this is too long. I've got my pipe, my frosty tea with a fitting, and I wanted to be able to hook that up to my vacuum. So I made that. So I'm gonna fire it up so you can see what it's like. It didn't work earlier, and that's why I think I wanna cut this down, and I've gotta do something about the air. So it, I had to keep blocking the air off, almost almost all the way blocked off, and it kept on doing that hunting. And that was it, different pressures on here, you could hear the gas coming out. So I'm going to try cutting this down smaller, maybe somewhere around there, and then see how that behaves. Okay, so I cut that shorter. I've got it hooked up with this, so I will give this a fire up. And I'm screwing this in. Okay, I like that regulator. That is way better than these ones. And this worked way better cutting that off. And so that one over there is probably too long also. I'll weld this something here so it'll fit the screw hole on my foundry. Okay, so now I also made up this hose setup, which I'll hook it up now. And I'll use my vacuum to provide air and maybe I can get some more speed control. But I'm actually looking at that flame. I'm quite happy with it. But I'll try it with the vacuum and see if it's any better. Uh, back in a back in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. I've got this assembled, uh, so the air will come in here, split, go in, hopefully just like the frosty tea, and then once I've got it up and running, I'm going to switch on my vacuum. I've still found, there's still way too much air even with that, but it takes a lot of it out, 
and see if I can get a, a better flame with adding some more things. So uh, I think that's about the same location. That's 10 PSI. Okay, so we saw the flames, and I still really don't know which one is hotter. I looked online, and they just say blue flame means you're combusting everything. So, are you supposed to get a nice inner cone, or is it supposed to be fiery and blue? I don't know. So, I'm going to try and heat a piece of steel without the blower, and see how long and how hot it gets with my thermal uh, temperature gauge. And then I'll put the fan on it, see how quickly it gets it to that cherry red, and I'll see how hot it gets. And maybe I can determine from then which is the best to use. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, so by the looks of it, it took longer to heat up when I had the blower on than just using the normal Venturi effect from the Frosty Tea. So, kind of proves it for me that just leave the Frosty Tea alone and it'll work quite well. So, uh, that proves it for me. I'll next stop, uh, try some copper. Uh, back in a bit.